Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joseph Moore here, and I am bringing you week five of the PML draft. And here is where we need to start pulling away from the competition. If we could win today, we'll be in the top three of our division, uh, at least from what I can see. And um, we can actually get this ball rolling. Um, he didn't bring Arctivish, which I'm glad um i was more prepped for drake's ult anyway um i'm pretty confident against this team and i actually have uh sticky webs belly drum this week uh he didn't bring a moongus so safety goggles is kind of not important <laughs> anymore but uh yeah guys let's go ahead and get them sticky webs up um, he might try to go for Trick Room this week, ju judging from Alola Whack and Dust Glops, but we shall see. I certainly want to get my Sticky Webs up, um, potentially scare him into switching something in on Slurpuff. Good luck, have fun, Sharpie. And we are going to jump into this week five. Alright, depending on what he sends in first, like I said, I do want to get my sticky webs up. It's not the most important thing. Now, well, it is kind of important because <laughs> Drake is old. But alright, it looks like he's going to get Veil up. So I'm just going to go ahead and get sticky webs. He might hit us, but we should live it. And we're already faster. Alright, so he probably didn't expect us to be faster. Um, we get our sticky webs off. And we're in a good position right now. So let's go ahead and go to Nacho Libre. He certainly didn't want us to get Belly Drum off turn one. We could have. But I feel sticky webs is going to help us out. And now we still have Belly Drum in the back. Okay, so Aurora Veil is up. His team's going to be very bulky now, on top of how bulky it actually already was. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click knockoff here. I'm assuming Rotom's going to come in. Yep, Rotom. And if we can knock off its Scarf, that'd be great. Oh, Leftovers. So it's probably Nasty Plot set. Maybe it's going to... It could Hydro Pump us here. Which we have a safe switch to Bell. And even if it Nasty Plots, it's fine because we'll be faster. But we're going to go ahead and go straight to Bell. Let's see if it just goes Defog here. Okay, so straight Defog. Gets rid of the screens, I believe. And gets rid of... Sticky webs. So if Defog gets rid of Aurora Veil, he shouldn't have his thing up either. Okay, so there's no more Veil on the screen. Alright, what could he go to here? He could go to Dusclops. He can go to Hippowdon. He can easily go to... Um, uh, the snow thing double scoop so we're just gonna go ahead and click shadow ball here so Maytag goes out of course it doesn't want to take that uh, that hit there and this is the last turn of hell so he ain't gonna be able to get his bell up again is bell still up or is that thing just really, really bulky? All right, we're going to go to Nacho Libre here again. Probably just going to hit Blizzard just to get some damage. Freeze Dry. Okay. 
ice type move still. We're going to take that rather well. And we're just going to go ahead and parting shot this time. Not sure if he'll go straight to Rotom again. But this will be very good for us. Double scoop might even be a V. All right. We haven't been able to get webs up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to flick and click first impression. Should knock out this Rotom from this range. It should. He might switch if he stays in and we get the knockout. That's great. Oh, we don't. Bulky. Alright, so we get burned here, which isn't what we wanted, but it is what it is. Now let's go ahead and go to Bell here. Good thing I didn't go for the belly drum. <laughs> I didn't bring facade this week. Alright, Maytag comes out. Probably predicted our switch. He goes into Kirby this time. Alright, so that's the Dusclops. Oh, so Aurora Bell never left. So... His, his bonds are just like that. Okay. Now you ain't got nothing to hide behind. We're just going to go for the Shadow Ball. Let's see what Dusclops decides to do here. Could go Trick Room. Alright. So we get a Shadow Ball off. And he does go Trick Room. We're just going to go ahead and click Shadow Ball again. We don't want him to get that free switch into Marowak. Because Marowak could be a problem. Uh, at least we know we can fodder off Durant if needed. So Double Scoop's going to take double the damage here. Well, double what it took last time. Because there's no more Veil. It's probably going to try to get the Veil up here. Alright, let's go ahead. And go to Nacho Libre here. Probably, Like I said, just probably going to get up Veil. So it's time for Marowak to just come on in. We're just going to go ahead and go for the parting shot. We should have probably clicked knockoff. To be honest. Don't know why I didn't. But here we go. Parting shot into uh, Vanillite. He's burning a lot of his own trick room turns. We're going to go to Flick because now uh, Flick doesn't really do much in this battle because it's burned. I honestly didn't uh, expect uh, fully defensive Rotom versus me. But it makes sense. Alright, so now we're going to just go ahead and crunch. We're hustle choice banned. So, I mean, even burn is going to hurt a little bit, right? All right, Maytag comes in. It might live. Oh, but it's going to get taken out by its own hell. So I don't get the kill, but he still has him on that goes down. And this should be the last turn of Trick Room as well. Okay. 
So no kill for Durant, but you know, we'll take the death on his side. So Kirby comes back in. We're just going to crunch again. No reason why we shouldn't. He go trick room. He'll he'll live the hit, obviously. He's behind Vale. And we're burned. Still does a really good chunk. Alright. So that's clearly a light clay vanillite. And uh like I said, we're still burnt. He'll probably go Marowak this turn. But I don't want to burn my Dynamax just yet. Because even if he goes... Uh, even if he goes... Let's see. If he goes Marowak... Swampert kind of walls it. So I'm not too worried about it. I can Mega right back in front of it. All right, Gloria's coming in. That is this thing right here. And he's going to go ahead and change up the weather, and now he's a speedy Hippowdon. And again, we're just going to chip away. All right, we lowered his defense, too, so that's even better. Oh, eject button. Goes straight to Dracozolt. Under Trick Room, though. That'd be weird. What is he trying to do here? He always coming in. Okay. Okay, so I guess he just wanted to get a free switch in with Marowak under Trick Room. Alright, let's see. How many more turns? He has three more turns. We're going to go ahead and let him kill us here. Alright, substitute... I don't know if we'll break the sub. It is super effective still. But that... Um, okay, substitute faded. So Vel isn't enough, even through burn, to live that uh, crunch from Flick. We waste another turn of Trick Room. So two turns left. He goes Flare Blitz. That's fine. We're good with that. Alright, he always getting buffeted by that sandstorm. We're gonna go ahead and go Aqua Fista here. We can live any hit. We're gonna go ahead and get Stealth Rocks up, and they're here to stay. So Vanellite and Kiawe won't be able to be switching in as much as they want to. So let's see what happens here. We both have a death now. He always switches out, of course. Okay, Kirby comes in. Interesting play. All right, we have. He knows we have Rocky Helmet now, and that's obviously for Drake Azult, Marowak, and all those physical mons. Alright, Dimensions turn back to normal. I'm going to flip turn out to get some damage. We should be faster than the Dusclop. So Kirby is lower now. We're going to go ahead and go into Nacho Libre. Nacho! Okay, attack fell. Goes for toxic. Figured as much. I thought I it had to be toxic or will o wisp. And he probably predicted the switch. Okay, so sandstorm subsided. He probably goes to pout on here. So I'm gonna go for the knockoff, because I mean it'll kill Kirby even if he doesn't switch. And we need to get another death here because he's wasting a good amount of time. It looks like we're about 14 minutes in. Uh, so about 13 minutes, I guess, minus the uh, the lead time. So he does go Gloria here. 
and stones dig into it, chipping away at that health. All right, so we're going to get a knockoff here for poison. That's fine. Wasn't holding an item. Yeah, I think maybe we knocked it off earlier. All right, we're going to go parting shot here. Oh, he had the eject button. Sorry. He'll probably just go Earthquake, to be honest. And we should be able to live it. So I'm going to go to Bell here. Okay, he goes for his own Stealth Rocks. Which is nice. Like that. Like that play. Guaranteed he doesn't stay in here. Maybe go straight to Drake's ult. Dazzling Gleam Time. Okay, Gloria comes out. Blick. Drake's ult. Gonna take this meaty dazzling gleam here. Don't know if it'll take it out, but with rocks, it just might. And it doesn't. So, of course, it's behind. Um, it's behind sand, so it's going to be really, really fast here. And we don't want to take that bolt beat. Even if he hits us with something else, he will get that rocky helmet damage. So we're going to go Swampert here. And see what he decides to hit us with. Okay, he's maxing. Bad switch in my case, probably. Alright. It's not going to take Rocky Helmet damage now. And it gets the max airstream off. But we live in... I'm going to max here just to play it safe, and I'm going to go for the max quake. Got to play it safe. I got to get this kill here. I got to start getting some kills here. And Aqua Fist is actually a really good mon to do that with here. We still have answers to Vanillite. So even if we burn our Dynamax, at least his is gone too. Big boy plays here, guys. Big boy plays. He might just switch out, honestly. Judging from that damage. He's certainly wasting the time, too. All his mons are really low on health that are a lot. So th that's at least helping us out as well. Alright, Blick gets switched out. Probably goes straight to Vanellix here. Oh, Gloria. Okay. 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 I see you. Let's see how much this Max Quake does. So we get our special defense up. Oh, that does good damage. All right, we're gonna max quake again. Max quake again, get that special defense up twice. This thing either falls or he switches to something else that's gonna take the hit pretty badly. Rotom is not on, no longer on the team because it's fainted. So we don't have to worry about a free switch in. Something's going to take a hit, and he's really burning 
the timer here. I think he's just trying to lower his uh, his differential loss, I guess. Double scoop comes in. And yeah, stones hurt that thing bad. And we're going to go ahead and go for the max quake. Should knock it out, judging from the damage it did to that uh, hip out on. All right, so Swamper gets a kill on the only thing that could kill it. <laughs> he probably should have kept uh, Gloria in to take the kill and tried to freeze dry kill us on the next turn, but did not decide to do so. If a Powdown comes in now, I'm going to uh, Max Geyser. But I think this battle is pretty much done. He doesn't seem to want to click another move, so. Gloria comes in. We're going to go ahead and go for the Max Geyser. And no point. It's max play. Just to play it safe. So if anything, we get a kill on something. So Gloria gets knocked down here. Thankfully he clicked the move. He could have not. So I appreciate that. And judging from how long it'll take for this Pokemon to come out and everything, uh, this should be game. I'm jamming my button as fast as I can. Dang, graphics. I hate that. But we get the win nonetheless. So GG to Sharpie here. Potentially a 5-0, but we'll take the 2-0. Because uh, we only had we had five mons left. He had three, so that'd be a 2-0 for us. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.